Well, 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 here we have another package from DHgate. And no, guys, this is not a complete replica. This is what I consider to be a semi-replica just because of the fact that some of the inner components are from Apple. Yes, we have a device that comes from China and it was partially built in China. And yes, I know these are assembled in China and I'm referring to the real deal. But this particular one was partially designed in China and then the rest of the components came from an iPhone. Now, this is what a lot of you guys have seen around for the past three years or so. And I'm talking about the conversions between older iPhones, making them look like newer iPhones. So this one in particular is the iPhone XR and it has been converted to look like the iPhone 15 Pro. In my case, I own the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And well, a lot of you guys are going to ask, Jay, how much you paid for this? Well, it was around 246 US dollars. So when I first opened the box, I didn't open the box of the phone. As a matter of fact, it comes sealed. So the first thing I noticed inside here was a case. Now, I'm not sure if I can fit the real iPhone 15 Pro cases. They say that you can, that it is a one-to-one -one body, but I will have to figure that out later. But it came with this case. It has a screen protector as well. And uh, yes, it is a tempered screen protector. And then wrapped in this, we have the actual device, which again, I never thought it was gonna be possible. I mean, I've seen replicas from the past that use the same bodies, and I'm talking about designs. If you guys remember the Goo Phones i5s back in the days, those devices, they had the frame where it was a perfect copy of the original iPhone 5, and then they put the motherboards that had Android on them. So it was kind of like the opposite of this. Now we have a clone body of the iPhone 15 Pro, but all of the inner components come from the iPhone XR. They also do it with other models. I think they do it with the iPhone 11, I can't recall. But again, they have been doing it with many other models before for the past three years or so. But I think, if I remember correctly, this is the latest as of right now, guys. So inside of this box, we have nothing else. So here, just for a brief comparison, uh, we have the iPhone 15 Pro Max box here on the right side, and then this is the box where this particular phone came. And if you guys look here at the very top, we do have the little pull tabs in which we're gonna open right now. So the reason I got this device wasn't only because of the video, it was also because, well, Christmas is coming and I will give this to my daughter. And uh, yeah, she breaks phones all the time. I got tired of getting her new devices. And uh, this is considered to be somewhat new, but the iPhone XR that was used for the build of this particular phone uh, was a refurbished device. So basically they took all of the inner components, cleaned them up, repaired anything that needed to be repaired, and then they put it into this new body. So again, this is why I call it a semi-replica. And wow, guys, this is absolutely insane. I mean, we will have to see if this is a functional phone on the back here, check out the cameras. I mean, this is crazy. We have the Apple logo on here. And like I said, the body doesn't come from the original iPhone 15 Pro. This was 100% made in China and designed in China because if you think about it, the motherboard, the logic board as Apple calls it from the iPhone XR doesn't fit the original body of the iPhone 15 Pro. So this was entirely redesigned to make it work. As a matter of fact, you can see right here, we don't have the action button. This is actually the old silent switch. We get the volume rockers. And then here on the right side, we get the SIM tray, the power key. Now, even on the real one, the international iPhone 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max, the international ones, the SIM card is on the left side and not on the right side. And 
on the bottom here we had the lightning port this is not USB-C we get the loudspeaker the microphones and whatnot and so here we have the screen protector guys check this out wow now I can tell already guys this doesn't have the dynamic island as Apple calls it uh, but before we jump into that we get the USB um, C to lightning port cable and then we get here the manuals however check this out we don't get the Apple stickers okay that's a little bit of a bummer but hey I think that's okay we can live without it so let's put this in here guys and let's go ahead and reassemble the box so this is the 6.1 inch and according to what I read, it comes with Face ID recognition as well. It has pretty much everything. I think all we have to do here is just press the power key and it should come on, hopefully. Let's see, maybe we don't have power. Oh, there we go. We do have power. And that's the Apple logo, guys. So yes, we have a phone that resembles almost 100% here. And now that I remember, I didn't get the original titanium color. I got the white color. Yeah, I kind of screwed it up. But right here, you can see how this thing mimics to be the real deal. Just check here on the frames, the texture, the color. Everything seems to be very, very real, guys. The iPhone XR already started. Now we can tell here by the bezels that this is definitely not the iPhone 15 Pro. This is where everything becomes quite obvious. But if you guys ask me, I think this is quite awesome at the same time. And momentarily here on my iPhone uh, 15 Pro Max, a message popped up stating that I could transfer everything. Uh, right here it is. So if you guys look, it is telling me that I can transfer everything from my current iPhone 15 Pro Max into this device. So that gives you the indication that we are dealing with a real iPhone that again just has a different body guys. This is quite awesome. Let's go ahead and of course complete here the setup and then I'll be right back just to give you some more details. Well here it is guys we have everything set up here on this device and the reason I wanted to do this was to first of all confirm that I got the 128 gigabyte version. Second to test all of the components we know that this is like an experiment that was made in China and you just simply never know with the quality control if everything was going to work correctly and everything works perfectly well. So the first thing is that, well, I want to show you here that we in fact have an iPhone by showing you here the software update. It is telling us that we need to update to iOS 17.2 and it is right here, guys. There's no way that this can be faked. The second thing is that, yes, we have a Siri on here. So let me show you. What's the weather like today? Looks like rain today. And there it is. So again, these are things that only iOS carries. And well, this phone does have iOS. The only thing that I think gives it away very easily is the fact that we don't have a dynamic island. Now, that was kind of impossible because the software for each iPhone is optimize based on the way that it was designed the display size we know that this one has the notch and so that couldn't be fixed but it does have also uh, face id and that works perfectly well here we have the cameras and the reason i decided to test all this guys is because again this is going to be my daughter's next phone since she doesn't really take you know care of them well i didn't have to break the bank to get her this again they are about 246 dollars for this particular one with 128 gigabytes so there we have it guys the rear camera works just fine let's go ahead and flip it around this is the front facing camera also works perfectly well and we do have a flashlight of course which we can enable here straight from the lock screen and check that out that works as well then we have the volume rockers right here that works very nice and then we have the silent switch okay that works and obviously the power button works 
and so now all I have to do is just get a SIM card I don't have a SIM card because of the fact that I use eSIM I might activate the eSIM on this one just to make sure that everything works but yes guys as of right now everything seems to be working very but very nicely on this iPhone XR conversion and it looks phenomenal so I'm not gonna bore you with all of the details about iOS you guys know what the iPhone is all about I just wanted to share this little video with you to make you aware that not only they sell the kits for you to do it yourself but they also come already done for you so again this is unlocked 128 gigabytes and let me show you here on about device I'm just gonna block my IMEI but I'll show you that in fact it is the 128 gigabytes all right guys and right there it is you can see 128 so in fact they were honest and uh, this particular seller has I think uh, it says here 100 percent feedback and well that's good news with this being said thank you so much for watching please subscribe for more comment and share click on the bell icon so that you don't miss future videos like this and if you guys want me to do it myself by purchasing a real iphone and converting it to something like this let me know down below and i'll be more than glad to do it just for you see you later